This tutorial for Demi Books Composer Pro will cover physics. Using physics means an object can bounce and float around the screen. You can also make it react to however the iPad is being held by the reader. Physics objects can also intentionally be moved by the user. For this example, there are four buttons and three other objects on the workbench area. Two of the buttons and all three objects have physics working. To see what the reader will see, touch the green triangle preview icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. All of the assets with physics attached will fall with gravity to the bottom of the iPad. If the iPad is tilted to the left, the physics objects will fall to the left. If the iPad is tilted to the right, gravity will pull the objects with physics to the right. For this demo, the button of the dog with the flowers is being manipulated by the user to bounce off of different objects. To add physics to an asset, first select that asset so it has a green highlight. Then touch the effects icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. Select the physics option. Set physics to on. You can now set different options about how physics should work on that specific asset. One of the physics categories is weight. Physics objects with more weight will push other objects and take longer to start and stop moving. Physics objects with less weight will be pushed aside by other objects and take a shorter time to start and stop moving. There are two kind of forces for a physics object. If the physics object is draggable, the user can move the object around the screen. If a physics object is static, the user cannot move it around the screen, but other physics objects will still bounce off of it. For each physics asset, there are object collisions and boundary collisions. The object boundary can be rectangular or circular. Each physics object can also be assigned to a group. Group 0 is special. Anything assigned to group 0 will bounce off of each other. Objects associated within another group, such as group 1 or 2, will not bounce off of each other. They will slide on top or underneath depending what layer they are on. If an object assigned to one group interacts with another group, for example, a group 1 object interacts with a group 2 object, those two objects will collide and bounce off of each other. Friction refers to how easily the object moves across the screen. Bounce refers to how fast and how much movement an object has when it hits another physics object or the edge of the screen. Each physics object can bounce off all, or one, or none of the edges of the screen. Now that we've added physics to the blue dog's button, you can see how it reacts with the other physics objects. Since the blue dog button is draggable, the user can move it around the screen and bounce it off of other objects. More details about how to use DemiBooks Composer Pro are available in the user guide and in other video tutorials.